Hi guys, this is Rashid and this is my Nexus 7. It's encased in an Emzer silicone case, silicone jelly, and an icon iconic 360 degrees um, uh, travel case which has the um, sleep option smart sleep uh, let me power it up it's powered up already yeah. didn't think that was gonna work like that I'm running a baked ROM instead of the stock version of what Asus comes with. Uh, I'm still running 4.1.1 instead of 4.1.2. I still uh, because the baked team didn't update yet, but I, I think that uh, for what it is it's 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 pretty decent ROM for now and I think the update will come soon enough and as for games it's running everything and anything that's on the market so let me sh show you I actually have my kernel updated so it will support up to 1.8 gigahertz I don't know if you guys can see that but that's 1.8 gigahertz max right now it's at 1.6 gigahertz I use 1.8 for benchmarks but for normal everyday use you don't need that much power because uh, it's doing 90 plus 100 plus fps in in the benchmarks and we can imagine what it's doing to the games now right now i have on the uh, i have uh, modern combat 3 nova 3 i have order and chaos and this one I don't know why I, why I got it but it's called Death Dome it's a kind of like pay to win type of game and this is these tools are my most important tools uh, Franco kernel updater and Go manager which let me know anytime I have a new uh, uh, a ROM available or, or anything like that I'm running on a Nova launcher because it's my favorite uh, launcher for anything past you know honeycomb anything past honeycomb is my uh, Nova launcher is my favorite but below that you know at Froyo level Go launcher is my best you know Go launcher is my go-to launcher so far I haven't really installed everything on it but uh, I plan to install uh, even tonight I plan to install uh, the Dark Knight Rises and a few more games that I bought and I might do a few walkthrough videos and I don't know exactly what you guys want to see from these devices if you are hesitating or hesitant to buy a device like this this uh, um, Nexus 7 right here is 16 gigabytes and yes it does get filled up pretty fast if you're downloading games like the like uh, Bards 
uh, tail. Bart's tail is so huge. It's it's like you when you think it's installed and then you go inside the game and it's like 3.5 gigabytes for the high res version of the game. So yeah, you're you get you know out your storage like is gone pretty fast but the thing is that you can buy um, these types of uh, um, cables uh, which is uh, you can hook up um, USB like up to 32 64 gigabytes uh, USB uh, memory stick and you can put it underneath the uh, Asus um, Nexus 7 and it would give you additional storage all you need to do is download an extra program to make it work nothing nothing more than that it's pretty simple all your all you you have to pretty much all you have to do is root your device and rooting um, an X7 is as easy as <laughs> it's probably the easiest device to root that I have ever seen but uh, let's go forward um, like I said, I don't have many things on it, but um, I will do a few. I, I've installed a six axis uh, controller. Uh, I bought it, and uh, so I can use my PS3 controller uh, over Bluetooth on the, on the Nexus 7 while playing games like uh, Modern Combat 3 or Nova 3 or uh, Shadowgun, THD and you know uh, games like that third person shooters, first person shooters and stuff like that where you know a controller really comes in handy and uh, when you're using the controller uh, the on-screen buttons uh, touch buttons disappear so that's a plus on small devices like the Nexus 7 where, where the screen is really you need every inch of it to actually but I, I find it the perfect size to play games like first person shooters because you see everything you don't have to look around like like you have to on 10.1 inches you know you don't see the whole screen you know unless you're a giant or something so that's it that's about it on this rant and you guys let me know what you want to see next on the Nexus 7 and uh, if you want any more information on the cases that I'm using on the gel case like I said the gel case is Amzer you can look it up mine is on a green color you can get it in almost any color you want it costs about thirty dollars, and same with the iconic uh, 360 degree, c you know, case. It's about thirty dollars too. You know, I'm not counting the shipping. I bought it all uh, over Amazon. So that's about it for my uh, for my Nexus 7, and I'll keep you guys posted after I install all my applications on it so that I actually have something to show but for now thank you for watching and keep an eye out because uh, I'll, I'll try to make more videos better videos and you know subscribe if you want to see more and thumb, thumbs up thumbs down if you have any suggestions and if you want to help me improve something you know I have an open mind as long as you guys have a good day bye